This time I got his name on my book. <laughs> Nobody's on remote. All right. <laughs> yeah, it can't start till somebody gets here. <laughs> oh, we're still waiting for a quorum, so. All right. Well, good evening. Welcome to the Saline County Planning and Zoning Commission meeting tonight, April 5th, 2021. We'll begin with item one, the consent agenda. Uh, approval of the minute or the agenda for April 5th, 2021. Any discussion or changes? Uh, I move that we uh, approve the agenda as written. It's been moved and seconded that we approve the agenda as stated. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, motion approved. Now, item B, approval of the minutes for January 4th, 2021. I have those here. Any changes or additions or comments? Mr. Chair, I move we accept the minutes as written. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept the minutes as written from the January 4th meeting. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item number two, CUP 2021-102, request for a conditional use permit by NetLinks to install a 120-foot monopole telecommunications tower at 1440 South Woodward Road. We want to, staff, if you want to give us an overview on that one. Yes. Uh, this is like the uh, others that had been uh, approved uh, previously um, in, the, in, in the general vicinity. Uh, the applicant is proposing a 120-foot-tall telecommunications tower uh, at 1440 South Woodward, Woodward Road. Uh, the the uh, uh, is based on its current location. The tower will meet the required setbacks. Tower is not located within the airport buffer zone. The applicant has submitted a site plan, and I've attached it as as Exhibit A in your packets. There are at least two existing towers within. Two miles of this site, however, it is uh, un undetermined whether or not these towers have co-locate capabilities. Both FAA and FCC documentation have been submitted and approved for this site. The antenna will provide uh, service to the area school districts. Just to kind of give you some additional background on this, and then I know the the representative is here for next link as well, but. Uh, Dickinson County uh, also approved a couple of these last month, uh, and uh, from my understanding is that it's uh, uh, th this uh, th this particular uh, uh, provider uh, is focusing on uh, schools, uh, the school district around Solomon, 
and that also is available their, their 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 service could also be available to the general public as well so not just the school district and it's to pro provide internet capabilities and uh, provide uh, uh, better coverage for that area because uh, apparently there was some uh, some cares money that was uh, appropriated and uh, i think that the solomon school district uh, had had appealed uh, it's my understanding that uh, they had appealed uh, to the state for some aid uh, because of some underserved uh, residents and students and so this is all part of that uh, that expansion into the into the Solomon area uh, as far as public comment staff has not received any comments from the public regarding this case uh, no other d uh, comments from other departments or agencies uh, under the CUP review criteria uh, this use would be consistent with other similar uses approved in the past in the recent past for communication towers uh, the use poses no adverse impact on the adjacent properties and uses with no effect on traffic in the area the use may not pose any aesthetic issues for the area as most of the surrounding properties are ag related uses the cell tower will provide improved internet connectivity for the area schools and also for the residents uh, <clears throat> a building permit uh, staff is recommending uh, approval of the conditional use permit provided that uh, no building permit will be issued uh, uh, until a commercial permit review has been completed by the city of Salina and it's my understanding that the other two previously approved towers are they're, they're still working with the city on 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 the details of of those two as well so we haven't issued a certificate of occupancy for those yet but they'll uh, they should be good to go as soon as the city Give, you know gives the okay for you know them to go ahead and proceed um, the alternatives are to approve the request with conditions as listed above or to conditionally approve the request with other conditions that the Commission may deem necessary and I said I've uh, you have as I said the site plan uh, the property is not located within a floodplain uh, and with that I'll go ahead and uh, turn it over to you all for further discussion okay any discussion on Commission questions for staff I just had one quick question on the approval from the commercial permit is that just engineering review or the yes design? yeah there there uh, I think that one of the things that their way that the, the city is the, the the applicants been working on is they're working with Caw Valley on uh, some engineering drawings and once they get those in they'll they'll be good okay all right seeing nothing from the Commission would the applicant like to approach and share any details with us absolutely thank you Hi, my name is Aaron Judd I'm a should I leave my mask on or take it off for the purposes of speaking I don't know what is the <laughs> procedure here. <laughs> in the news, they always take it off. Anyway, uh, my name is Aaron Judd. I'm a representative of NextLink. I help engineer and maintain the uh, networks that we are building under the um, under CERG, which is the grant that has been given to be able to provide uh, stable internet to those who uh, to to the education services here, and also to those who are having to be educated from home. So. As council was saying, uh, we do provide to the schools and also to the public as well. Um, I felt like uh, he did a great job explaining everything I came here to explain, so thank you for coming so prepared and making my life so much easier. Uh, but I do, I, I am, I'm here to answer any questions that council may have. Okay. Any questions from the commission? I have yes, sir. Uh, this is a cell tower? This is not a cell tower. It's a kind of a... Uh, a miscommunication but it is a common uh, colloquial term but no this is just a monopole it it doesn't meet the same guidelines as a cell tower um, so we wouldn't be having any cell infrastructure in that general vicinity uh, it's a 120 foot monopole no guy wires anything like that so uh, it would have approximately two 18 gigahertz radios that we use to bring the internet in and then 
uh, approximately five, um, they're called access points, APs, that we would then uh, use to distribute internet down into the valley. They're about three foot long antennas, and that's it. Yes. How, how wide of a reach does that run off those two radios? So based off the current engineering, it takes, um, we would be providing internet access to, it looks like a good portion of the west part of the city, almost leading to the center of town. Okay. Uh, Tony's Pizza is just barely outside of the range, so <laughs> sorry, Tony's. But uh, that's about the north, and then we would cover all the way down south from this one tower. How far south? Uh, I wish my map was larger, but I would say, uh, according to this, the Walmart Supercenter is the east side of, and w I'm sorry, is on the west side of town, and, and we'd be about that far south on the east, if that makes sense to council. <laughs> I have a photo if you guys would like to see it. Kind of gives us an idea of the area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Not for now. I got I have one. Sure. This unfortunately has got nothing to do with this, but this is me being me. Um, <laughs> We're used to you. Yeah, uh, thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Let's say three or four years in uh, the future, you want to put a cell tower there. What would it take to transform that into a cell tower? Or would you just have to still do a brand new, new tower? Uh, I believe that the radio frequencies that the cell companies operate on uh, per the FCC would need to be higher, so it would re require a new tower. Okay. Great. Thank you. Sure. Sorry. Okay. Any other questions or discussion? All right. Is there anyone online that we need to connect with? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Seeing none. Thank you. All for right. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll bring it back to the commission. Any discussion? If not, anyone would like to make a motion? Yeah. I would like to move that we. Uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, okay. Approve. 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 Thank you. <laughs> CUP 2021-102. I don't see any special recommendations on it, but I will just move that we approve this. Second. Okay. There is one condition that Brad staff had here. There is one condition. Brad. Okay. The building permit. With with the conditions that that staff has already pointed out. Do you wish to amend your? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. Yes, we have a second? Second. Okay. It's been moved and seconded that we approve CUP 2021-102 with, as written, with the recommendation from staff that a building permit will not be issued until a commercial permit review has been completed by the City of Salina. All in favor, please raise your right hand. All right. Motion carries. Any other business staff? Uh, just uh, no other new business. Uh, I was just going to go over some additional uh, miscellaneous items. Uh, one is that uh, probably the uh, it's, we're about a, a month over doing the election of officers since we weren't here last month, and so I, I and that's we're we'll probably need to do that this evening before we adjourn. All right. With that, do we have a? Nomination for chair the rest of this year, apparently, or for the next year? For the next 12 months, yeah. Well, you know, I would like to propose you, but you're going on how many years now? Well, three. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> whatever. Unless somebody else wants to be. I'd say I was going to do it. Everybody hides under the bed. <laughs> 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 All right. Is that a motion? Okay. If you don't mind, I mean, I, I that's don't fine. I'll, I'll yeah. do it. Yeah. Okay. 
I'll second it. All right. It's been moved and seconded that I retain position of chair for the next 12 months. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We have a motion for a vice chair. To your left. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Motion carries. You guys are doing a great job. <laughs> you are. I, I don't think any of us can do any different. I know I would. And uh, the ad one additional item is just the May meeting next month. Uh, we'll be going over the comp plan. And even though we don't have a, a good e example this evening of the Zoom, uh, capabilities we do have zoom capabilities and so anybody who's not able to attend in person is more than welcome to uh, zoom in and we can start our comp plan uh, chapter 4 review of the goals and objectives uh, uh, that. Well, I was going to ask if I might when when we are back to normal quote, mm -hmm. in quotes, are we going to continue with the, the zoom yes yeah, so um, we have uh, this particular forum is uh, an option to us to continue for the foreseeable future. It works out really well. We've seen it work well with the, both the city and the county. Yes, I, okay. I would agree that it, it works well. So, but I just wanted to check and make sure. Right. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Tim, do you mind if we talk about the... Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so um, I'm apologize. I'm Hannah Stam. I'm the deputy county administrator for Saline County. Um, and one additional item that we have for uh, some discussion and your input as well is something that staff has been doing some reviews of different processes. And one of the processes that came uh, forward to us was the process that we used for road vacations out in the county. Um, currently, that particular function is a function of the county clerk, and through some of our discussions, had uh, really talked about the idea of having road vacation requests come to the planning commission as a part of the review process. Um, ultimately, road vacations are a final decision by the county commission. Um, but with the level of expertise that you have with the knowledge of the county, as well as county codes um, and different uh, review process parts of it, we felt that this was something that just seemed to fit very well as a uh, function of the Planning Commission. Um, we cer certainly still have some kind of internal processes that we would have to iron out, um, but this is something that we wanted to bring as, as far as discussion for the Planning Commission to see um, if there's any opposition to it or um, how comfortable the Planning Commission would feel with the staff moving forward to making some of those internal processes happen appropriately. If I remember right, haven't we had some discussions and a couple of those in the past? It seemed like, like there was discussions come up. Yeah, there was a bridge and then some other stuff. It's been years ago, but I believe we had, it's been part of another meeting or something but we we also do uh, ch you all do a change of road classifications as well yeah but I, it seemed like there were some vacation vacating ones in, in the mm -hmm. past that we've discussed yeah, I, I remember Rhoda. Or we, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Or we made recommendations in the past two years in this um, planning administration it's been uh, minimum maintenance changes yeah. okay so, all right Thoughts or questions from the commission? Well, <clears throat> having been impacted by this, I would think it's a good idea. It'd be nice for public input on that. I'd probably just explain it. Yeah. Oh, I tend to agree. Yeah. Any other thoughts? Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Okay. Especially when the city is paying engineers for this as many secondary bridges as it could. So. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Do we need a motion on that or just some, just, was that just for discussion? Uh, no, I don't think we need a motion at this point. No. Um, it, we wanted to discuss it with you first um, okay. before, like I said, we've got some internal processes on the county side that we need to work out as well as some potential changes to county code um, to, to work on with our county counselor. So um, 
but didn't want to move forward with doing any of that um, if you guys were not comfortable with that. All right. Anything else from staff? Nope. That's it. All right. We have a motion to adjourn. I motion we adjourn. Second. Okay. I move and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned.